The Olympics may be a no-go and track meets may be canceled, but the training continues for Bahamian athletes having been given the green light to get back hard at it again. Charles Fisher caught up with a few of them. Chris Matilla, a sophomore at Washington State, was having a superb indoor season, already being named Pac-12 Conference Athlete of the Week on numerous occasions. I was looking to explode at the indoor nationals. Affected me in a very big way. Um, I was on my way to nationals and we got the word that uh, nationals was canceled uh, because of this coronavirus situation. And it was my first nationals, so I felt, I felt like kind of kind of let down uh, because I was ready, first of all, and because I knew that I was going to do something big there. But I feel like everything happens for a reason, so I just take, take this with a grain of salt and just move on. The same for University of Indiana junior Giles Etienne, who was ranked in the top five in the high jump. I mean, it affected me a lot. I was, I was at nationals when they told me they was going to cancel nationals and, and the season was over, so that really hit me. Uh, but you know, now it's just preparing for next year, just trying to stay fit. With the shutdown in effect, Taylor had to make some adjustments. I was training uh, in, my, in my yard. Uh, coach James gave us some workouts to do, and also my coach back at school. So I was just doing my training in my yard, staying, staying in the best shape as possible until we can come out here and, and train. It's a blessing and a curse because I get to train with my coach, Coach James. Um, and then... Obviously, I want to be in school as well, training with my coach in school. But um, I can't have both the best of both worlds, so I'm just making the best out of training here, being here. And then when I get to go back to school, then I'll go back to school and train. And I'm also in summer school, so that's keeping me busy as well. Giles, in the meantime, he went with a different approach. I took like a month off, but now I'm back out here training with Coach James, trying to get back in shape for the season. I see it as kind of a positive, you know, I had those small injuries, they healing up because of this rest, but now I just have more time to get better before Olympics. That's how I see it. Now with the uncertainty of school in the fall semester, both athletes ready for what may be the new norm. We will be back in school in the fall, but um, it's still going to be some sort of distance learning. So um, the bigger classes will be online and then the smaller classes will be in the bigger classrooms so we can practice social distancing. So um, I feel like our, our president, the school's president, is doing a great job with that. We just had, you know, some Zoom meetings and that type of stuff. Just the coach was to send workouts and all that. K1 Kalma recently graduated from the University of Nebraska, was in full mood in preparation for the Tokyo Olympics. Then his training had to stop due to COVID. Started off jogging, you know, a mile, yeah, a mile, yeah, waking out. After that, I ain't gonna lie, it went downhill. It <laughs> started slacking off and, you know, laziness took in, to be honest. Coach has given us a little indication that, you know, we might start training and so on. But at the moment, I was just working, uh, trying to stay occupied. We start off the season thinking, you know, Olympics coming. It's good, you know, everyone's dream is to go to Olympics. Now, nah, no more Olympics, so it's like... What now? It's just it's different. It's a lot to deal with, but it's still, it's still a positive because in the end, so a lot of people are injured. You got a time to rest. Now you have a whole another, uh, what, nine, ten months to get prepared once again, hit it again, get ready for Olympics next year. So it's a, it's a benefit to a lot of people, especially the ones coming out of college. It's a benefit and it's a blessing in disguise. Keep up the good work and continue to train and represent the Bahamas well. For the Morning Edition, I'm Charles Fisher.